Hello and welcome today, T1 vs Bro is our matchup and sadly Bro is not sending their full lineup, instead they're doing the exact opposite. We face today 5 challenger players, yeah that's going to be a team gap uh, if we ever saw one and but let's see how Bro can hold on against us and if we can get the 16 and 0. Yo, oh, look at the age. Like T1 guys are already young. 2004, 2005, that guy just turned, that guy just turned 17, like what, a few days ago? Yo, man. Hey. Very nice. Wave state top, not that great, but nice, uh, nice free kill. It's not the worst. Uh, he didn't lose flash, and again, the wave state is not too terrible as well. He can just continue laning. Zeus just got a assist, so it's not too bad. Oh! Hi, uh... Circle comp. Get a kill, get a kill, get a kill! Ah, sh But... Yeah. Very nice, very nice. Sadly, we don't get the Rift Herald to push immediately after. But, uh, Zeus? Uh, what happened? What, what happened? Uh... The thing obviously is that uh, LCK challenger players are uh, like not as bad mechanically as people might think. Yeah, are really really young and inexperienced. Okay, so... Okay, so... Cannon obviously thought he recalled and then yeah. And here a very nice pickup from Carrier. They tried the Venn diagram comp with all the circles on top of each other. But owner survives for so long and uh, he immediately uh, he <laughs> closely got the bailout as well. But yeah, that's four kills now into a uh, T1. But oh, they're engaging way too early before their support is even there. Uh, they're all going to die here. Feisty, run. Fi 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 yeah, Feisty, run. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, he might take down Kare, yeah. But that's two turrets top lane. Ooh. Yeah. But that's to be expected, right? That's to be expected. It's literally the best team in the world right now against the challenger squad, so uh Yeah. Again, no surprise, but it's good to see that it works, right? Would be uh, like disastrous for our squad if they manage to uh, yeah lose or play worse. Now nice engage so far. We're engaging on the tanks and so on, but we have enough damage. And well, Facey is not offering any damage uh, in return and game, and I don't think he has his first item at this point. So yeah. Ooh, Faker got caught by the Everfrost. Owner, have mercy. Just dashes into four people. Gumayushi can just stand next to the <laughs> Sinjao with no fear. Ooh. Triple kill. Ah, triple kill. Very nice. Faker, by the way, TP'd into the base. Solo Boro. Yeah. Got clapped. We will probably get a sub 20 minute game here. Don't think they can defend this anymore. Yeah. Nah. Expected, but obviously still very unfortunate. Like, kind of for everyone involved, right? Bro, they're a good team. They're a decent, decently good team right now, right? 
Uh, they were like fifth place. They obviously should lose to T1 every day, but obviously not like this. Like the game ended in like 18, 19 minutes. Let's hope that at least for Bro they got some uh, like some training out of this. On the other side for T1, obviously uh, giving four kills over. But uh, yeah. So yeah. Anyway, uh, nice dub. Hopefully you enjoyed the solo queue highlights we just saw. Um, yeah. Maybe game number two. Yeah, we see some interesting picks come in. I mean, T1 obviously taking it serious, which is uh, which is okay, which is fine. Obviously, they put some respect. They're not picking like a bad mid lane or something. But uh, yeah, maybe we can see something interesting in game number two. Um, yeah, till then, wish you a great day.